Hi, this is Ms. Burns. Today we will divide unlike terms by a single term, and we'll use a method we like to call the heart method. When you see an expression like this, 4 plus 8, all divided by 2, we know that we can just combine like terms in the numerator to get 12. So we have 12 over 2, which is 6. However, we also could have split this into two separate terms, so we could take 4 over 2 and 8 over 2, which makes the shape of a heart, which is why we call this the heart method. So we have 4 over 2 combined with 8 over 2, which of course is 2 plus 4, which equals 6. We're only able to do this heart method if we are combining on top and dividing by a single term. This becomes more useful when we cannot combine like terms in our numerator, and instead we have to split it into separate terms. For example, if we have 6a plus 24, all divided by 6, we cannot combine our 6a and our 24. So instead, we're going to split this into two terms. We make these hearts just to help us keep track of our terms. So if you tilt your head sideways, you'll see that we have 6a as our numerator, and 6 as our denominator for our first term. Then we draw our second loop of our heart, and be sure to include the sign on the numerator. So we have a positive 24 over 6. And of course, we put a plus between them, because 24 over 6, as we said, is positive. 6a over 6 simplifies to a, and 24 over 6 simplifies to 4. So this whole expression becomes a plus 4, and it's in the correct order, so this is simplified. Keep in mind that if you are following along on your note sheet, you should be filling this in as you go. I'm also going to write the steps that I use. So, step one is always to draw the heart. And this heart just separates our terms, so each of our terms has the same denominator, but we separate our numerator into separate terms. Our second step is to split it into the terms. And our third step is to simplify. Remember that simplifying includes checking the order at the end. Try this example in your notes, and then check to see that you got the correct answer. Pause the video now. You should have gotten A combined with 2. Now let's look at one that has negatives involved. So we have negative 15x over 5. So I'll write that as my first term. And then my second term, I have to be careful to keep this negative sign with the 25. So I have combined with negative 25 over 5. And then I can simplify to negative 3x combined with negative 5. We'll do one more example with a negative denominator, and then I will give you three to try on your own. So if we have negative 2x combined with negative 9, all divided by negative 3, I have to be very careful with my signs. So I'll draw my first loop of my heart, and I get the term negative 2x divided by negative 3. The second loop, I have negative 9 divided by negative 3. Since a negative divided by a negative is a positive, my second term here will actually turn into a positive 9 over 3. So my final answer is going to be 2x over 3, or 2 thirds x, because again I have a negative divided by a negative, combined with 9 over 3, which is just 3. In this case you need to be careful of your signs. So back in this step here, we had negative 2x divided by negative 3, and then we had a negative 9 over negative 3. Some people choose to always put a plus sign between them and then keep the signs in the numerator and denominator. The other way to do it would be to look at your sign of your numerator. So we saw that it was a negative 9, so we're combining it with negative, then write your 9, and then keep your denominator negative. The double signs get more confusing there. Use whichever method you think will help you the most. Try these three problems and come in tomorrow with the answers and we'll check them together. Make sure to be careful of your signs and also to remember to simplify your fractions. 
Good luck. See you tomorrow.